what is going on welcome back to the youtube channel today we're going just to be talking about my business and how it's been going so right now i'm doing tiktok organic and i already find it difficult because i just hate tiktok <laughs> there is no other way around it i absolutely fucking hate tiktok i just even before i saw the business opportunity from TikTok, just personal use. I was never really into it. And it's nothing like I'm not here trying to flex like, oh, yeah, I don't have a TikTok brain. No, I would use shorts. I would use Instagram reels. I just, for some reason, the, the platform itself, I find it a bit sketch. I don't know. I never really was a fan of it. And now that I'm trying to do business with it, I, obviously, I remember... Um, well over a year ago, when I was trying to grow my personal brand and focus on that, I was doing TikTok. And it took me a very long time to just get like 600 followers. And I just stopped because I just did not like it. And now creating videos for my products, it's already the will to do it because I don't enjoy it at like a lot. Is hard, but again, I still do it because it's a very, very great business opportunity and I don't give a shit how I feel. I do whatever is necessary. It's just, I, I, I contradict my thoughts sometimes where I used to not be very analytical. I used to not think much. Like I used to, when I was maybe younger, I was a lot on autopilot and I would just never use my brain. Honestly, I'm being straight up. I never, never used my brain. And now as the years, as the last few years passed, I know the importance of using your brain. So I think a lot now. Now I feel like it may be even too much, but the thing with TikTok is that uh, what I'm assuming is it's a quality over quantity. I mean, sorry, quantity over quality game. You just got to keep pushing. And I have this habit where whenever I am I record videos, I'm trying to think of the absolute best idea possible. I'm While I'm editing, I'm thinking, is this good? And like, is this good? Should I do this? Should I do that? And the quantity, the output is not where I want it to be. And now I'm really, really trying to just focus on just Julian, just fucking push out like six videos per product a day. Just keep pushing. It doesn't matter the quality. And I don't know, like it's a gray area for me. I don't know which is right. Should I focus on the quality, reduce the amount of videos per day, or should I just do very much like this YouTube channel? very raw authentic it doesn't really take much time to edit and i can push out a lot like for youtube one video a day is, is a lot so for tiktok if i just do raw authentic you know no edits no nothing crazy i could i feel like i could reach that six to 12 videos a day per product and i don't know if that's the way i'm trying it out like luke belmar said when you have an issue and you're trying to find the truth with it. You have to approach it with the scientific method. Probably the only good thing that school has taught us. Um, you know, to create a hypothesis. Go through the procedure. And then analyze. So now, right now, I am i don't know the answer to if it's quantity over quality. And I'm just trying it out. I'm trying it out. I'm trying it out. It's just, again... I guess maybe um, I get frustrated because it's the quantity over quality game. The results don't come. Or even if I focus on quality, the like, results are just not coming. And, and it is very frustrating sometimes. And I'm really trying to train my mind to, to detach myself from what I do. I feel like myself and in including a lot of you guys, 
we attach ourselves to our businesses. So basically what I mean is when we fail or when something doesn't work, automatically our mental model looks straight to us. Oh, fuck, this did not work because I wasn't good enough. I did something wrong. This was instead of kind of being more of an observer, you know, don't don't shoot yourself down because something didn't work. You know, don't blame yourself rather than just say you are very like I'm you're trying one and two you're you're I don't know a very good human being and the mistakes that you're doing is just because you don't have the information you don't have the knowledge but that is completely fine like don't like that doesn't demoralize or devalue you as a person and when you become more of an observer you take out emotions you take out yourself completely and you can finally just look at numbers and analytics and make more logical decisions. And that's what I'm trying to do because every time I fail, every time something doesn't work and especially with this quantity over quality game, it's not like I work on a video for a few days, post a video like how I used to do with my YouTube and the video didn't do well. So now I only fail every few days. Not like I'm failing like six times a day, let's say <laughs> each for each product. Cause every video I post, it doesn't do well for me. That's a failure. Right. And it's just really important to construct a, a very like beneficial mental model for you and for myself. And again, I just really, really, especially how I kind of don't enjoy what I do. I just have to really detach myself, my emotions, my personal opinions, and just get the reps in and just look at it as it was someone else doing it. Like, that's how you got to look at it. And do not demoralize yourself because things don't work out your way. And obviously, things take time. Again, that's another obvious. Things do take time. Been trying this shit for years. Um, and just again, be positive. Be an observer. Don't be in it. Just be an observer. That's that's it. Anyways, thank you for listening. Please make sure to like and subscribe. I would truly, truly mean mean the world to me. Honestly. And I'll see you at the top.